Supposedly, these statues were built to honor Mictlan's most devoted followers. What an unsettling sight. This entire temple is a death trap. I know I'm asking for a lot, but try to keep your recklessness in check. Blitz in two. I'll trust your gut on this one, boy. Still no trace of the other divinities. What could possibly have happened to them? what awaits us inside these cursed ruins. Oh, I'm much too old for this insanity. Although every inch of me wants to get out of here, turning back is no longer an option at this point.
Shin and Orlog. Let's get them out and leave this place at once. This can't be. We, we have awoken him. Oh, the old god Mikle. star in the sky. At last, the dreadful Mictlen was put to rest. We learned quite a lot about the recent events, thanks to Shin and Orlog. The signs pointed to a full-scale invasion. The pair had eventually been captured as their sacred artifacts were lost in the wild. Back when the Kamloops left their homeland for Numbra, only one nation possessed such technology. Eternium, the strongest of all nations. Freed at last, Shin and Orlog wanted to find out why Eternium chased the Kamloops all the way into numberless darkness. Unfortunately, there was still no trace of Luxana. I could see that the news saddened the boy. She was his closest friend after all. But now was not the time to sulk. The boy and I were to deliver a warning to Sylveon, the Kamloops capital. It was also possible that Luxana had escaped the invaders and was there as well. After so many years, the prospect of visiting the exotic Viperous Forest again felt strange. I hadn't been there since the Order of the Night Owls disbanded. <laughs> 